When Ryan was born, the doctors told us that he had Down syndrome. We had no idea when I was pregnant and we were devastated and heartbroken and we were completely shattered. I remember just crying for days and asking God, why, why did this happen, God? You know, we go to church, we love you, um, we tithe. I just cried and cried for days and I know that the why questions never get answered and even if they did, it wouldn't matter because this was my new life. About the fifth day, depression started to sink in and I felt hopeless. I felt like I was given a life sentence that had no end. Every time I'd look at Ryan, all I could see was what he wouldn't be and what he wouldn't ever do. And, you know, would he go to college? He probably would never get married. He would never have children. And he would live with us for the rest of his life. I was just so sad. I just wanted to be alone. I would stare at things and I would just cry. My husband noticed it and about a few days later, he said, you have depression and it's on you and we have to break it off. And so he sat me down and I was numb. I didn't care. I didn't care if he prayed for me. I didn't care if other people prayed for me because everyone got to move on with their lives, but I was the one stuck in this and I didn't know how to get out. I could feel the weight start to lift. You know, over time it got better and better and the joy was starting to come back again. When I was driving home in the car one day, you know, and I was crying and God said, why are you crying? And I said, because this is so painful and I don't know what to do. And he said, but why are you crying? I said, because I don't know what to do, I'm so hurt. And he said, Ryan is healed. And from that moment on, it changed everything for me. I began to be able to see Ryan healed and God began to show me how to see Ryan healed every day, not just one day in the future or wishful thinking, hoping one day would happen and being upset when I didn't see results right away. He had to show me how to look at Ryan every day healed. I had to just look at it as, okay, I'm in a battle I didn't ask for, I didn't wanna be a part of, but I'm in it. So I had to choose to fight. I had to get to the place where I knew God did not do this to us on purpose. He did not intend for me to be in pain or cause me hurt. You know, he has an abundant life for Ryan and this isn't an abundant life. So I had to look at it like, okay, this is my battle. What am I going to do? How am I going to fight? How am I going to see my victory through? And I only could do that by getting into church, surrounding myself with people that were like-minded and that would get in faith with me. And I had to read my word. And when the enemy would come in and lie to me, I had to get to the place where I did not even let it roll around in my spirit. I had to just rebuke it right away and get rid of it. Otherwise it was gonna tear me apart. Ryan has had to work really hard for accomplishments that are simple and easy for other kids to do. Um, you know, he walked when he was two and a half. He didn't even hold up his own head till he was six months old. And we would have to do therapy sessions like three times a week. And there was just a lot of hard work that he had to put in just to do what other kids could do so easily. Most kids with Down syndrome are born with heart issues or thyroid issues. And we really stood on God's promises. He does not have any heart issues. He doesn't have any thyroid issues. You know, he's not overweight. At one point he was doing basic sign language to be able to try to communicate with us because he would be getting so frustrated because we couldn't understand him. And God started opening up his mind where he started saying words and he started mimicking what we were saying. And now I see Ryan and I see, yeah, he, he has Down syndrome according to the world, but in the name of Jesus, he is healed and he is whole. He is in his right mind. And one day he is going to be walking around here in his manifested healing, giving God all the glory because God did not do this to him, but through this journey and this walk, God is going to show himself strong in this area and God has an abundant life for Ryan and he will live it and he will be victorious and you will see him healed.